Welcome back to PSC's Tech Buy and happy 2022. Today I'm going to share with you a really interesting scenario about how to create a change notification with Microsoft Graph and the Microsoft Graph SDK in order to get notification about present changes for users. In order to do that, uh, we need to make a change notification subscription, including notification data, which will be encrypted for security reasons. And from a constraint point of view, we need to use delegated permissions to create a subscription. And we can have just one subscription for every single user. In the subscription, we can subscribe for the present status of up to 650 users, so quite some users, I would say, but we can do that for an unlimited number of users, indeed. The notification endpoint can easily be a measure function that you can define, and I will show you an example shortly. And once you have done that, you will simply need to use the Graph SDK 4 to easily provide the encryption and decryption certificate in order to get access to the encrypted data about the presence notifications. So let me move to the new environment and let me show you how to do that in action. So here we have on the left side an Azure function that I created and that I will show you shortly, which will get triggered whenever there is a, a presence notification uh, uh, notified to the function. And on the right side, I have the Teams client in the web browser. And whenever I will play with the uh, present status of my user on the right side, we will see on the left side a notification popping up. And here you can see we have the status available for my currently uh, connected user. I can, of course, switch to another uh, presence just to show you uh, the result. And here we have another notification for the busy status and so on and so forth. So how can we create such uh, a solution? Well, first of all, we have uh, a, an application that I created, the console application, which I use uh, to create the subscription. In this one, I'm using uh, Azure.identity for authentication against Azure AD and the Microsoft Graph uh, SDK version 4, 4.NET. Here, I'm going to uh, authenticate against Azure Active Directory requesting a permission scope of type presence.read.all. I'm using the username and password credential to authenticate against the target environment and I'm creating a graph service client. Once I've done that, I also load the X509 certificate that I want to use for encrypting uh, the notification data. And then using the graph SDK, I can create a subscription object which is a type available in Microsoft Graph SDK. My subscription will be for the updates, including resource data. The notification URL will be the notification of an Azure function that I created. And I'm looking for resources like communication slash presences slash and a value which can be either the ID of a specific user if I want to create a subscription for one user, or it can be a filter in order to subscribe for multiple users, something like question mark dollar filter equal, and I want to say that the ID is in the list of this list of IDs, which can be a list of up to 650 IDs. Remember that you can create just one subscription for every user, and that we need to use delegated permission access token in order to create the subscription. So you better think about what target users you want to have in the subscription. And if you want to change them, you will have to delete the subscription and create a new one. Once I have created the subscription object, I can go through the graph client, through the collection of subscriptions, and I can asynchronously add the subscription that I just defined. And here you can see, just for the sake of completeness, the output in the application, which will specify that a specific uh, registration ID has been created for my subscription. In order to do that, I'm relying on an application registered in Azure Active Directory that you can see right here. This is an application that I created. And in the application, in the API permissions, I configured the presence.read.all delegated permissions, which I granted. Okay, so this is a requirement in order to be able to create the subscription. Talking about the Azure function on the other side, we have an Azure function created uh, with the .NET 5 uh, environment. And here in this function, we simply wait for an HTTP trigger. And whenever we will get a trigger, it can be a trigger to validate uh, the subscription endpoint. And if that is the case, in the query string, we will get a validation token query string parameter. We simply need to reply back with a plain text plain content to the Microsoft Graph, providing back the same validation token that we have got. But in the common scenarios, we will get notifications and not validation of the notification endpoint. 
And as such, whenever we get a request without the validation token in the query string, it will be a notification of something that happened on the uh, Microsoft 365 side of the story. So we create an instance of the graph client of the graph SDK one more time. And here we use the graph SDK 4 as well as the Azure identity as like as before in the um, console application. Then we get the uh, X519 certificate that we want to use to decrypt the information. In fact, when we created the subscription, we provided the public key of the certificate so that Microsoft Graph can use it to encrypt the uh, subscription data. And when we get the notification, we will get the data encrypted and we can use the private key to decrypt that information. So we read the content of the uh, request we've got through HTTP and we deserialize it into a change notification collection, yet another type provided in the domain model of the graph SDK4. We also need to define a list of accepted tenants ID and accepted client IDs so that we can validate the notifications and see if the notifications that we have got are about tenant IDs and client IDs that we want to manage. And we do that using the collection and invoking the R tokens valid method against the collection, providing the accepted tenant IDs and the accepted client IDs. If the tenants and clients are fine, we can go through all of the notifications that we will find in the message, and for each of them, we can access the encrypted content, and using the decrypt async method still provided by the graph SDK, we can easily provide the certificate and get back the decrypted actual value of the notification, which of course we can just use as a JSON, or we can deserialize into a more complex type. And that's it. Once we have got the notification, we simply reply back with an OK, and that's it. We are able to manage our present status notifications for users. Like always, thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it interesting, and I'm really looking forward to seeing you next week. And remember, subscribe to this channel. Thank you.